So, you know, the, the best we can do really, short of somehow, like I said, somehow downloading it, it's, it's the reason why I can't download it actually, or no one can really give it to you, is because it's already here. I can't, I can't, uh, you know, I can't give you shoulders. How could I give you shoulders right now? It's like, even if I tried, it would, it would probably be a burden, you know? <laughs> who needs, who needs uh, you know, an extra pair of shoulders? <laughs> but what we can do together, what we can do together is just explore Explore that space. Explore what's what's it like. What's it up to? What's it capable of? What happens? How is it? How does it move? How does it function? And as I already mentioned, it, you know, one of the one of the qualities of this space is that it's aware, <coughs> which is pretty amazing, really, for space. Pretty amazing trick for space. You, know, you can understand how. How eyes function, ears function, and nerves function. But how does space then sense all of that? How does the space that you are actually register all of that that's happening? Because that's actually where all of that gets registered, is in the space, in your being, in your, in your true nature. Its nature is aware. And it's and it's almost like it's almost like it's too aware. You know? It's almost like it's got too much of this capacity. It's like so sensitive. It's like it's so damn sensitive that like everything, everything registers in this space. Just like everything already is in it. Everything affects it. Everything has an impact on your being. Literally everything that happens. My, my wife is an astrologer, you know, so Pluto. Pluto is having an effect on the space of your being right now. <coughs> your entire history is having an effect on this space. It's being registered in this space. Sometimes very, very immediately through memory. Other times, more indirectly through unconscious kind of patterning and conditioning. Your physicality, your body, your DNA, your sensations are all shaping, are all impacting. Because, because this space that you are is aware, everything that shows up in it gets noticed, has an impact, it's sensitive to it. It, it registers it. It registers the sound of my voice right now. It registers the feel of your butt on a chair. It registers the sound of the highway. It registers the thoughts, the feelings, the impulses that appear in your, in your being. Everything shows up in that awareness and gets noticed. In fact, it's so sensitive, this awareness is so sensitive that it can also, it can also be shaped and patterned and conditioned by all of the stuff that happens, all of these experiences that happen, and that every single one registers in your, in the aware space of your being. So it, it's so strong, in fact, this, 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 the impression that experience makes in being is so strong. And being itself, because again, because it, if you think about it, it's space, it's going to let everything in. Right? That's its nature. Space, by, by its nature, it's not something it does, it's just by its nature, it's totally allowing. And so all this stuff coming into the space actually creates impressions in it. You can almost, you could take it even a step further and say that it, it imprints the space. There's an imprinting of the space. It's just, it's just one of the capacities of space because of, because of how sensitive it is, how naturally sensitive it is to experience.
but it also gets imprinted by those experiences. And you're probably, a lot of you are probably familiar with that term. It's also used to describe this thing that happens with, with uh, baby ducks. That they can be imprinted. That the impression can be so strong on a baby duck in the first few moments of its life that whatever it sees in the first few moments of its life, it has a tendency to follow. Usually, that's the mama duck. <laughs> and we've all seen it, you know, a mama duck being followed by a whole string of little imprinted baby ducks. And it's actually, it's actually a wonderfully useful, helpful thing. It's a, it's a part of their, it's a wonderful survival mechanism. It's, and it's actually a capacity of consciousness itself. This, this pattern, that this imprinting can go so strong that, it, that, you know, come hell or high water, that baby duck is going to follow the mama duck. And in the case of human consciousness, that same process happens, only it's much, much richer. It's much, a much more complex thing. But the same fundamental, fun, fundamental phenomenon is happening with humans. And so like one example, one example that probably everyone here experiences, is that as humans we become very, we are very imprinted are to our bodies. It's not. It's not. This isn't something like mysterious or weird. You know, we're just we're just taught to pay attention to our bodies, right from a very early age. Our parents are always pointing at it, and nose, and ear, and you know, doing all kinds of things to get our attention. Like, notice you've got a body. There's a body here. Pay attention to the body, and, and they keep pointing you to it, pointing you to it, pointing you to, you to it, until eventually you're kind of imprinted onto that particular body. So much so that wherever that body goes, awareness follows. Have you noticed that? <laughs> <laughs> if right now, if you get up and walked out of this room, would your awareness stay here? Or would awareness follow your body? So that's one, that's one it's, it's like one that just operates. And again, it's just like for the baby duck. It's a very functional thing. It's a very useful thing for survival up to a point. Just like the baby duck thing is only really useful up to a point. Because um, baby ducks will follow their mom out onto the freeway. And we'll follow our body often even long, long past the point where it's useful. Like, you know, when you're lying awake at night and can't fall asleep. Because you're so imprinted on the body, you can't leave. But again, like I said, it's a little more, it's a little more rich and complex with human consciousness. So not only are we imprinted onto the body, but we're also very strongly imprinted onto the mind. So just like, you know, just like we, we were taught over and over again to pay attention to the body, you were taught over and over and over again to pay attention to your thoughts. I mean, how many times were you taught in school that it mattered what you thought? It mattered what you knew. It mattered what was in your brain. Like so much so that you know you pass or fail based on that. <laughs> so so you just get used to you, you know, awareness gets used to following your thoughts, following what arises. And when I when I use the word thought, I'm really really talking about the whole the whole range of our inner experience, thoughts and feelings and desires hopes and dreams and wishes and fears and doubts and worries and all that good stuff. <laughs>